So this is a really weird video for me because I'm quite literally in my shower right now. Um, so I'm sorry about the lighting and the echo if you can hear any of that. Anyway, I'm sure that you can tell by the title that this is going to be my what's in my shower video. Now, I thought that I thought of a really original idea. I was in the bath um, not too long ago and looking over at the shower and I thought I could write a blog post on sort of the products that I use on a daily sort of basis. Um, but then after some investigating I quickly realised that it has already been done and lots of times so I thought why not make it into a video so this is where we are right now. So I'm going to talk to you about everything that I use in my shower and the order that I use it in so let's get started. First starting with shampoo, I use the very basic head and shoulders anti-dandruff shampoo and this is in active sport. I love it because it is so cooling and refreshing on your scalp, it's amazing, I love cool showers as it is, I hate hot showers so this just adds to that even more and it keeps my head nice and dandruff free so that's what I use first. And then I love to use my bed head shampoo, this is the epic volume shampoo. I love my hair to be full of volume because it, it curls easier and I just like it like that. So this is what I use. I have a gift set of this given to me in this full size every Christmas and it basically lasts me the whole year until I get uh, a new one for the Christmas after, so that's good. I feel like this camera is on such a double chin angle but don't look. And the third shampoo that I'm going to talk about, this might seem really high maintenance, but um, I like to switch up my shampoos depending on what my hair is doing. This is the CN Pro Vitamin Shampoo and it's volume and style. Uh, this comes in loads of different ones. This particular one is volume and style and it's from Lidl. If you don't know, uh, in England we have sort of very cheap supermarkets. You've got Aldi and Lidl are the main two. Um, everything is super cheap and they've started doing hair and beauty products so I picked this up not really having high expectations but it is amazing it really gives me the lift that my hair needs gives me the volume um, at a super cheap price so if I ever was running low on the bed head and wanted to save it I would switch to this but this is very full I barely ever use it but it is there when I need it it's also handy as well because it's a smaller bottle I do like to take this around to my boyfriend's house as well just because it's easy to pack Okay, I think I've talked about all the shampoos now, so conditioner. The only conditioner that I use um, is the bed head again, it's just these two come in a pack so you just get a shampoo and a conditioner and this conditioner is absolutely amazing. I only apply conditioner onto my ends otherwise it leaves me quite greasy because my hair is naturally quite oily. So with that I just pump a few pumps into my hand, give it a swish round and then go into my hair like this. I rub it round just focusing on the ends and it leaves my hair in such amazing condition. If I want to really deep condition my hair I will use this shower cap. This was from Morrison's which is just a supermarket in UK. I put my conditioner in onto the ends and then I will then put this on and keep it on for about 10 minutes whilst I shave and all the rest of it in the shower and then my hair is just so soft after it but I only do that about once a month. Okay now on to shower gel. This is the only one that I like to use. It's the Sanex Zero Shower Gel. And it is basically just soap. So it's got 0% fragrance, <laughs> it's got so little chemicals in which you know that I love. Um, and also when you go in with other sprays and fragrances after your shower, I think sometimes the, the scents can sort of clash a bit. Now it is for sensitive skin and it suits me because I'm oily. If you are dry, I wouldn't recommend this because it is quite drying. Okay, now on to shaving. Um, I don't use a shaving cream, instead I use conditioner and I love the herbal essences. Clearly naked, 0% paraben and colorant conditioner. You might think this is a bit of a waste of conditioner, but I just love the bed head so much and this isn't that expensive, so um, this leaves my legs feeling uber soft. Okay, and in terms of razors, I use this Venus razor. It's a very basic one. It's quite cheap because I know their range can be quite pricey. This is a cheap one um, and it comes with a very plain razor head, nothing special, so that's just what I use. If I am deep conditioning my hair, I tend to shave in between and then rinse my hair straight after shaving. It just makes sense to do that because you can't really kill much time doing much else in the shower. Um, so on to exfoliating. I love these. I've got one, two, three of these in my shower at the moment. They are all from the body shop and I absolutely love them because they are such a gentle exfoliator. So I just mix it with the Sanic Zero shower gel and use that on me and I do that every time I have a shower. 
I also like to use the Clinique Sparkle Skin Body Exfoliator. This was actually free. Um, it was like a complimentary gift because I bought three products from Clinique, which is amazing because that's full size. Um, and it's just lovely to use. I mean, I wouldn't normally um, buy it. I'm not sure if I would repurchase it because it doesn't give me anything extra than what I normally do anyway. Now, if I have a spray tan, um, I actually just rinse my tan off Using this technique, I will go in with these exfoliating gloves. Um, so when my tan's getting old, I do like to go in with these and just get it all off in one go. Okay, on to skincare in the shower. Now, this might sound weird, but sometimes I do like to give myself a full skincare routine, treat in the shower. <laughs> and I like to use this Anti-Blemish Solutions Oil Control Cleansing Mask. Now this is from Clinique and it's my all-time favourite mask. If you have oily skin and you suffer with breakouts like I do, this will suit you like no other face mask. A lot of face masks can, uh, can give you more oil and they can make you break out, but this leaves me feeling very matte, very smooth. I also have the Tea Tree Witch Hazel Deep Cleansing Facial Scrub. This is from Boots and it is a Boots own brand. This is what I like to use to exfoliate my face with in the shower. It is made for oily skin and I absolutely love it. Leaves my skin feeling so fresh and light and like it's just been deep cleaned. I like to use this as well quite often, maybe about once a week. So after I've put conditioner in my hair, and depending on if I'm doing a face mask or not, I will put this on after the face mask anyway. And yeah, I absolutely love it. And finally, when that is all done, and then like to go in with my Clinique Sonic brush. I have had a love hate with this brush, but I have learned how to use it. If you would like me to do a blog post on this, I don't know if you've had similar problems or if it was just me, because I felt very alone. Everyone was saying, oh, you love this brush, you have to buy it. But it hated me when I first got it. My skin hated it. It was awful. I went through skin hell, basically. Um, but I've learned how to use it, and I use it with this foaming cleanser. It's a foaming face wash from Witch and Boots. And I always like to make sure that my face has been washed with warm water because the product seems to sink into the skin a lot easier then. And then I just rinse that off and that is done to be honest. I like to keep all of my skincare items in this little basket. This was super cheap. I think it was from the pound store or something. And it does have these sticky pads on the back so you do have the option to hang it up onto the shower wall if you wanted to. It's just it keeps everything together so handy actually. And I think that is it. I hope it was interesting for you. Um, I thought it was an original idea, but it's clearly not. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon in another video. Bye.